Do you have a cool background? Uh, we do not have a cool background. We are running green, you know, to conserve energy and it's better for the environment. And uh, Your I, processor? I'm Box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ponzu. You. You're watching the previously live or currently live, depending on if you're tuning in now or later, stream of the Two Smart Guys show. And I'm, I'm fresh from the ice bucket challenge, so I'm, I'm dry now. <laughs> and we're talking about Bitcoin mining. So this is the, the 101, the skinny on how to make money out of... Uh, thin air. Thin air or lots of power. Or <laughs> this, we're going to show you the thin air method eventually. <laughs> yeah, we, we've got a secret plan that we, I think we already told you about last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Bitcoin, it's like, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's supposed to be the new currency. It's going to replace the dollar. It's going to cut out the middleman. It's going to replace the yang. More of the middleman. and It's going to replace the ruple. <laughs> <laughs> allow you to exchange Bitcoin for goods. And it's, 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 it's everywhere now. All right. So what is Bitcoin? And it's, it's like the gold rush. But now it's the Bitcoin it's rush. Digital gold <laughs> rush. <laughs> so Bitcoin is a digital currency. It, it, Cryptocurrency. It, it lives in the cloud, I guess you could say. Everyone lives in the cloud. <laughs> um, there's eventually a, a, limited, a, a limited number of Bitcoins, right? Yeah. Eventually, they're going to be all mined and gone, theoretically. Mm. Right? I don't know about that. I don't know the video. Because every time a transaction takes place, you create bitcoins. So it's kind of like up in the air whether it's gonna. I don't know. I'm getting conflicting things in the comments below. Find, post below what what you know because yeah. it's. Come to learn. Stay yeah. to teach. We're we're, no. um, <laughs> we're still learning ourselves, but what we've been learning a lot about is the actual mining process. Yeah. It's kind of complicated on how how it works, but it's not too hard that I couldn't figure it out. So what's so. the first thing you need if you want to mine Bitcoin? Oh, power. You need power. And you need a, a, you need a computer. wallet. You need somewhere to store your money. <laughs> and then, yeah, the wallet. So you can choose to mine one or the other or do a little bit of both. So what about uh, solo mining over pooled mining? So... I think the general consensus is to join a pool at the moment, right? Well, because it's so hard to to mine just by yourself. Yeah, it, it's competitively hard, but the reward is like tenfold for finding a block, and it's still based purely on luck and really how lucky are you? Because one person can find one block, and if he's got the gear to solve that block, then he just walked away with twenty-five bitcoin without anybody else sticking their fingers in it. Hmm. But if he's the unluckiest guy, call him Ponzu. <laughs> he, he could be mining for a month and not find a single block. Where is that? That's where a pooled mine is a lot better because you earn consistent pieces for every block you help solve. So, if you got a computer, all you all you need is um, a mining application, right? And yep. there's there's a bunch of them out there. You can uh, CPU mine. You can GPU mine, you can AICI mine, and then you can block eruptor mine, and then you can, uh, they have servers now that you can straight use the CPU. I guess it'd be a CPU miner though, still, but. Well, and the server might have GPUs on it too. Well, yeah, true that. <laughs> it's got <an> IA7. Or eruptors <laughs> or. <laughs> yeah, and then there's blade miners. Blade miners are like all the rage right now because they can do 10 giga hash of Litecoin script mining, which is pretty awesome. Those the blades are what like like those like those little ants. They're only like 30 bucks. That grid seed's like 75 bucks. These gall miners are 127 bucks. And Still don't understand. Those blades that. are like what 350 <laughs> or something, depending on the the type. No, of... um, so the blade eruptors. Are, uh, they're the ones that people put inside the servers. Yeah. So they have the little chip, and then they usually line like six or ten of them up. And they do ten giga hash each, and then they're supposed to add up. But you have like Ant Miners S1, which are awesome. They have uh, two specialty designed uh, 
they're pretty much block eruptors. They're not really the, um, what's it called? They're running the AC, AI, CI, whatever. But there's two of them, and they run at, was it 70, 70 gig, or no, yeah, 80 giga hash each. So together, one full S1 runs at 100 and, was it, no. Yeah, it's 180, so they run at 90 giga hash a piece. So they come out to about 180. And they're they're really cool. They're all network based with the web UI. So if you're if you're running like a, a Bitcoin miner on your computer, it like on a laptop, it'll it'll run at full speed. It'll eat up the full CPU, the full GPU. That thing will be running hot and it'll be using up all the power. That's why people are moving these little these little block eruptors, is they're they're relatively low power for the amount of processing that they can do. And you can just hook them up to like a little USB, a powered USB hub and plug in a whole bunch of them. And you can run them off of a really low com powered computer such as a, a Raspberry Pi. So you can set one of these guys up and you can set up a little bunch of little low power block eruptors and just let it go to town and you don't have to heat your whole house with it. <laughs> you know, these these little things still do get pretty hot. I don't know if you, you touched they're, one They're, they're kind of toasty. Yeah. Warm up by the campfire. <laughs> There's actual websites too where you can take the math and like how much it's costing you to run your mining rig, and how much it uh, you know it'll cost you to get a Bitcoin, and where you live, and how much you pay per kilowatt, and all this, and you can kind of do the math to figure out is it really worth it. And then the, if you f factor in how quick, quickly it's it's growing in complexity, so it's it's, har it's harder to mine all the time. And then these different devices, they come out with new ones all the time that are better than the next. Like these ant miners were like three hundred dollars uh, what a year ago. Yep. Like, <laughs> now they're thirty dollars. The the S one, <laughs> like buy all the S ones you can right now because the upgrades come out on September twentieth, which will upgrade the uh, the S one to the S three. It pretty much gives you the block blade, the blade the eruptor blade, and then it does five hundred giga hash up to 500 giga hash. So it upgrades you from running 180 to 400, which is a pretty awesome upgrade if you ask me. Which means that it's gonna get harder for everybody else. <laughs> yep. So which, there's a lot of math involved and it's, 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 it reminds me a lot of like, like playing the stock market or something. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. And uh, a lot of people are saying it's more profitable to actually buy Bitcoin like early in the morning or when it's being traded a lot because the price of it it seems to be a little cheaper uh, in the morning times I've noticed it usually drops down to about 460 but like right now I think it's at like five we're wrong <laughs> yep. give us give us hints and links to um, better the mining we pools. should be looking at <laughs> yeah slushes pull the one to go for or, or hash or Geo. miner or what do you use for your mining I, tools? Do you it? use Ghash IO, right? BFG Miner or Asteroid on a Mac or CG Miner? Oh, it's so complicated. <laughs> it's it's not that it's too overly complicated. It's just that there's so so much that you can so many different ways of doing it too. Like you can go out by yourself and like look in the forest for Indy's treasure, or you can look with a bunch of friends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you're in pooled mining, you have to share the profits. Is, is it better to share or be greedy? In the end of the day, 25 Bitcoin, that's, that's some money right there, you know? Each Bitcoin's what, about 500 bucks at the moment, give or take some? It's uh, 513. When we first started talking about this three weeks ago, it was like 475. Yep. So it, it fluctuates. And at one point, it was at 900, right? Yeah, it was at 900. And they were expecting it to hit... Uh, what they say, 10,000 this year? They're a little, a little high hope-ish there. <laughs> Hope some people didn't... Yeah, it was about a year much. ago there was a craze and it just skyrocketed and then it, then it bottomed out. And it's growing slowly now, so it, I mean, it's a little more steady. And just like anything else, when bad things happen that involve Bitcoin, like the stock market, when bad things happen that involve oranges, orange juice goes down in stock price.